Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. The Daily Compliance News for September 2, 2021, the Mike Richards Out Edition. We begin with that story from Blaze Media, a first-time contributor to the Daily Compliance News. Mike uh, Richards, who fell out of favor as the uh, host, new host for Jeopardy, is now out as executive producer. Richards stepped down from his hosting duties last week, but he was let go from his producer duties uh, this week. He, uh, the decision was made over the weekend to terminate him. And uh, really this demonstrates to every compliance professional the need for due diligence on a position that is gonna put uh, anyone in your company in the public eye. And I think it really demonstrates the need for robust due diligence, not simply a level one or two, particularly when you're hiring senior managers or anyone else who is a senior exec level who's gonna represent the company. Uh, Next up from the New York Times, Purdue Pharmacy is dissolved and the Sackler family skates on any personal liability as they agree to fund a $4.5 billion settlement on opioid claims. The uh, settlement um, was approved in bankruptcy court today and Uh, The bankruptcy judge said he wanted minor adjustments. It was a painstaking negotiations, but it will end thousands of lawsuits brought by state and local governments, tribes, hospitals, and individuals to address the public health crisis that was caused by OxyContin. Next up from the Wall Street Journal, two Trump organization employees will be testifying before the Manhattan grand jury. Matthew Calmari, Jr., the organization's corporate director of security and the son of the company's chief operating officer was served a subpoena for his testimony and Jeffrey McConney, a chief financial official, is also expected to go before the grand jury this week. Mr. McConney previously testified before the grand jury prior to the indictments and now he's back um, again. Mr. Calmari Jr.'s testimony would grant him immunity on the subjects he testifies and signals that prosecutors do not plan to indict him, although his father uh, is still under consideration for being indicted. And our final story comes from a Department of Commerce press release. There was a joint announcement today by the United States and the Ukraine uh, on an understanding on commercial cooperation. There was a wide range of topics in this memorandum of understanding But I bring it to your attention because it uh, focused on collaboration in the fight against corruption in uh, Ukraine. So this has certainly been on the minds of many U.S. companies uh, for quite some time. Uh, In the Trump administration, this was a, a huge problem as the Trump administration appeared to attempt to foster corruption in the Ukraine with their shenanigans. But the losers, of course, were U.S. businesses. And now we have a signed memorandum for a wide range of topics, but in- including the fight against corruption in the Ukraine. So a welcomed agreement between these two governments, which met in Washington today. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.